Hey guys, Console of Gaming here, and I am back with another GT6 video. Almost said GTA 5 right there, but I didn't. And um, today I'm going to do a drift build, and um, I did a little drift montage. If uh, some of you guys saw that, it was a little edit thing. Um, and if you want more drift montages, leave it in the comments. Leave a like. And uh, let's get right into this. So, I have close to 400,000 credits, as you can see. And um, I am tempted to get a Nissan Silva, Sylvia, or I might get a Skyline. Yeah, I might get this Skyline just because it looks cool. No, I'm joking actually, um, my brother has this car in real life and uh, we drive around in it all the time and it's pretty awesome, so let's go ahead and purchase that and um, all their D is all cinematic and music-y. Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, yes I do. Alright, so let's go to the pit service, change the oil. It actually does give you uh, more horsepower, guys, so if you ever need to get more horsepower, just change the oil. Makes total sense. Custom parts, tuning parts, that's what we want. Let's get some sports hard tires. I prefer sports hard. They're a lot easier to drift with than uh, comfort hard. In my opinion, that's my opinion. Whatever you guys like to drift with, you go ahead and drift with. Um, drive train. Fully customizable dog clutch. Triple plates. Others. Carbon drive shaft. Lip. Mitted slip differential tongue twister there. Um, stage three sports computer. We're just beefing this thing out. I bet you it's gonna sound awesome. Catalytic converter, turbo kit. Can't even put one on because it's so freaking old. Don't want nitrous because I don't use nitrous. This thing's gonna be freaking hard to drift now that we can't put a. Um, Turbo on there, I didn't even know that. Tricking me up. Alright, let's go to wheels. Let's itch it up by two just because we can. I think it looks better too. Actually. Hmm. Let's just inch it up by two because YOLO. Those are nice. I sort of like how they have the. Uh, like fender cover things, the black. I don't even know what those are called. Leave it in the description if you know, because I don't. <laughs> so, let's go to body kits or aero parts as they call them. No flat floors. Let's get a freaking giant wing on this thing because we can. No, I'm joking. I don't know. I actually like it with no wing, it looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, let's play. Let's play three hundred or three thousand two hundred fifty dollars just to get the wing taken off. Unscrew a couple bolts. Takes like two watts of energy. <laughs> Logic. Other. I have never seen anything in other. So if you guys ever see a car with others, tell me. Paints. I don't need paints. So uh, let's go tune this thing. Suspension. Let's drop this thing to the ground. Just because we can. Let's increase the stiffness of these springs. I want this one about 5. 510. 520, why not? And this one about 450. Dampers, keep those same. No camber, no toe angle. Again, guys, this is how I set up my cars. You don't have to set it up like this. 
just how I do it. Okay. So this got to be a low gear. Put that about there. Put that about there. There's that. Drivetrain, initial torque, 60, 60, and 60. Power, got all that. Body, don't need any of that. And um, now let's go into online, and I'll see you in a drifting lobby. All right, guys, as we join into uh, this drifting lobby, I got four other people in here with me, and um, when I was looking for a drift lobby, there is tons of drag racing lobbies, so I will be bringing, bringing you guys a drag build very soon, because it um, seems like everybody wants to drag these days. So, um, yeah. Enter. This is on Suzuka? Sakuba. It's not Suzuka. Suzuka is different. But let's see how this goes. Okay, no interior. That sort of sucks. Alright. Let's just take a look at the car. Let's see how this thing sounds. Gonna do a brake stand? Probably not. Did I happen to choose the freaking worst car for my drift build? It actually just quite fine. Actually. Got good control. Dang, this thing's actually I like it. Look at those headlights. Oh god. Ooh, very controllable to be honest like if you're looking for a drift car this would be a very close like very suggested beginners car my question is can it take like the big corner up here have you, if for all this you've been on Saku but there's a giant corner up here I'm gonna have to get tons of speed to this thing because it sucks but it is actually really good. I don't even know what I'm saying. It sucks. Yeah, it's not going to make it. But it is overall uh, probably a really good learning car. Those who want to take it slow. Just like go around a course in second gear. Take it slow around the corners. And, uh, you know, just hit it on the corners. That was terrible. Don't hit it like that. Yeah, see, you can get them spinning pretty well. Once you get up at like 9,000 RPM, you're good. I think, no, that's about 6,000 RPMs in you. You start drifting. But yeah, I suggest second gear for this car. Rating out of 10 for drifting in... Probably a five, because um, there's probably worse cars than this, and this is a great learning car. Um, so if you are learning how to drift, go pick up a, a Skyline 2000 GTR. They're um, pretty well, and um, that's my first drift video for you guys, or drift build. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment if you want more, and also comment in well, comment yeah, comment in the comments. You know what I'm saying? But um, what car you want to see next? Um, there's so many cars on this game. It's crazy. But it has to be reasonable, cause uh, um, 
I try to it, I'm gonna try to at least do two of these a week so I could get cause all the credits that you have to get cause even this cheap car took like 2,000 credits so um yeah if you wanna see leave it in the comments comment your car um and um I'll see you guys next drift tune